Harry, can you tell us a little bit about um, how climate change uh, is affecting amphibians around the world? Sure. Climate change is a huge problem, and so it's good that it gets a lot of attention these days. Uh, certainly, we need more uh, people in the government to look seriously at climate change and what to do about it. Uh, but for amphibians, it's really important because amphibians are very connected to precipitation levels. Amphibian means they have two lives, one on land, one in the water. Most amphibians are breeding in the water. Others don't breed in the water. They are terrestrial breeders, but they still need moisture. They lay their eggs in moist leaf litter. A lot of these terrestrial breeders live in cloud forests in tropical countries. And what happens is the earth warms is that the cloud levels rise. So if the cloud levels rise, then all this leaf litter dries out. And amphibians that live there in what used to be a cloud forest have lots of problems because their habitat's gone. So amphibians in the mountains in the tropics are under really serious threat. As things warm up, you can move up a mountain to cool off, but eventually you're going to run out of space. Uh, surface area decreases as you get to the top of the pointing mountain. And then if you're already at the top, there's nowhere left to go. A lot of amphibian species that live in the mountains, they only exist on one mountain or one mountain range. If something happens to those populations, then the entire species can go extinct. It's not just the tropics, though, that have problems. Here in America, Yellowstone National Park has been a national park since 1872, but it's not protected from climate change. There have been persistent droughts in Yellowstone for the past 50 years, and about a fourth of the ponds in the park have started to dry up over the last 20 years. So three of the four amphibian species in the park are on the decline. So that's the effect of climate change in one of the world's oldest protected areas. So uh, in places where there are lots of other threats to frogs happening simultaneously, like habitat destruction, people eating the frogs, roadkill, uh, climate change is also affecting them. And so it's all going to, going to create a synergistic effect, meaning the final outcome is greater than the sum of the individual parts of all these threats. So climate change is a huge issue. Save the Frogs, uh, a year and a half ago for the International Day of Climate Action, uh, we got some really big posters about 10 feet long up in five major airports across the country to highlight the effect of climate change on amphibians. And I know that the one in Chicago, O'Hare, is still up now about two years later. So that's really great. It's probably uh, been seen by hundreds of thousands of people. And we have a page on our website, savethefrogs.com slash climate, where you can learn about the effect of climate change on amphibians and ways that you can uh, reduce your ecological footprint to help um, stop global warming. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being part of my environmental series. Thanks. It's my, my pleasure. It's a good interview and um, some new questions that I don't always um, talk about. <laughs>